Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the chelating agents. What are the chelating agents? Chelating agents are the chemicals. that binds tightly to the metal ions chemicals those bind tightly to the metal ions so this is a chemotherapy for the metal so the metals are taken out of the body by the use of chelating agents so what are the what are the characteristics of a of an ideal chelating agent so characteristics of an ideal chelating agent okay it should increase the excretion of the metal so it should increase the excretion of the metal through the urine excretion of the metal through the urine through urine okay this is one it should decrease the blood concentration of the metal it should decrease blood concentration of metal okay so you got that it should increase the excretion of metal through urine. It should decrease the blood concentration of the metal. Okay. So, a chelating agent should be, should be, an ideal chelating agent should be water soluble. Water soluble. okay it should be water soluble and it should be resistant to biotransformation resistant to biotransformation biotransformation okay it should reach to the site of the metal should reach reach to the side of the metal this is important some metal may be in certain sites for years after year even decades after decades like that of the lead lead may be deposited in the lower end or upper end of the long bone especially the femur or tibia for decades maybe 10 years 20 years so our chelating agent should go there and pick it up so should reach the site of the metal if the metal is deposited in the bone it should be taken out of the bone okay so we got that and it should retain the ability capacity should work in normal pH should work in normal body pH that is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration okay it should make 
metal complexes that are less toxic should make metal complexes those are less less complex so that it could come out of the urine very easily okay these are the characteristics of an ideal chelating agent okay we got the characteristic it should increase the excretion of metal through urine it should decrease the blood concentration of the metal should be water soluble resistant to biotransformation should reach to the site of metal anywhere maybe in the brain maybe in the bone okay should work in the normal blood ph should make metal complexes those are less complex so we got the, the characteristic of an ideal chelating agent okay and should be less toxic easily taken okay it should be less toxic expected that it should be less toxic okay easy to take easy to take the chelating agent okay this two we may add okay we got that the ideal chelating agents so now we discuss some of the common chelating agents okay like arsenic arsenic heavy metal and its chelating agent is unithol or dimer cap capral or bal british anti lewisite this was discovered uh, during during the second world war or oral succimer especially for children or person who cannot take other medication oral succimer may be an alternative for copper British anti lewisite penicillamine, uh, and these are the two very much, uh, very much commonly used cuprid or cran. These are used in case of Wilson disease. Wilson disease, okay. Wilson disease is also called hepatolenticular, hepatolenticular, cooler degeneration degeneration so this affect the liver this affects the basal ganglia of the brain especially the lenticulate nucleus the caudate nucleus putamen area of the basal ganglia of the brain and this is a genetic disorder genetic disorder so it is managed by this heavy metal especially cuprid and Trend, these are very popular to manage Wilson disease. Okay, here there is deposition of the copper in the body, it causes liver cirrhosis, it causes brain damage. Okay, it, it is deposited around the eye and make the cancer flacer ring around the sclerocorneal junction at the periphery of the iris. It makes the cancer flacer ring. Okay, so management by means of cuprid or tran maybe penicillamine or british anti site okay iron iron may be accidentally taken too much or in some individual iron may be deposited in the body it is not excreted properly maybe excessive blood transfusion excessive hemolysis or accidental intake of iron its antidote or the chelating agent is the d Peroxamine for land, intravenous calcium EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetate, or British anti lewisite or succimer. For cobalt, plutonium, these are associated with, with radiation. Okay, these are associated with radiation. We have the zinc DTPA for, for also for plutonium. For thallium, we have the Prussian blue and British anti lewisite and penicillamine. For the radiation hazard, we may also concern, okay, for radiation, radiation related chelation, 
radiation hazard. We may also also consult with Oak Ridge Associated University. Oak Ridge Associated University University Center. Okay. And they have the specific telephone number 865-865-576-3131. Okay, 576-3131. So in, in, in case of radiation hazard, we need some type of special type of plating agent and we may call them and they will help us to to find out the exact management so and always must remember that the plating agents may not be harmless they also cause some adverse effect like that of blood dyscrasia even they may cause leukemia in certain situation and it should be always under medical supervision and other part of the poison poison management like decontamination hydration, uh, everything should be okay along with the chelating agent and it may not be ideal for one chelation, chelating agent for every heavy metal, it vary from heavy metal to heavy metal and it also depends on the patient, patient's age and patient's, uh, patient's system. So it is variable from one heavy metal to another heavy metal. And that's all about the chelating agents. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please share the information with your friends. And please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.